I found this question on the Elementor community page of Adam, which is asking, how can I add this cool little scrolling kind of uh, animated mouse uh, animation? And he found a code pen, which shows uh, the code of what he wants. I'm just going to click on it to show. And it's just a really, really simple animation. I mean, uh, of course, you can do it with a GIF and you can do it uh, in all sorts of ways. I'm going to show my approach, which is to generate this into an editable Elementor widget where you can uh, be able to edit the colors and maybe the alignment and maybe even uh, the border width and um, maybe even the sizes of this. So this is what we have and we need to clean up the CSS a little bit before we start creating this into a widget since right now uh, it's adding some body color to our HTML which we're probably not going to want uh, at the end it's going to be just a little widget inside one of our sections and uh, so first of all we need to clean this up this and uh, over here it's going over all of our screen just to center it and probably we won't want this uh, centered on all our screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up everything that's related to the body and the HTML I'm going to delete everything that's related uh, to positioning this on the page I'm going to delete and I'm going to change the, the white color to a red color which later on we can change but I just want to see this on the white background okay so now it's cleaned up and I want to center this because usually when someone will add this to the page he will want it to be centered so I'm going to add some inline CSS over here I'm gonna write style text align and center now this doesn't do anything <laughs> and the reason for that is because the inner div inside of here which is called mousy it needs to be a uh, inline block so I'm gonna write over here display inline block and now instead of being the div being a block element it will be a, a what's called an inline block element which is sort of like an image or text that whenever you give it text to line center it will be centered and the reason I added this is that later on we can create this into a field where you can uh, align it to the left to the right or to the center so the first step opening our code pen deleting whatever we don't need cleaning it up and making it work how we want to work and now we're going to create it into an Elementor widget inside of our WordPress we have unlimited elements installed it's a free plugin and everything that I'm going to show now is in the free version of the free plugin first things first I'm going into the category I want to add this new widget inside it's going to be in the extras and I'm going to include it also for everyone who will uh, want to use it and not create their own widget so you will be able to use this I'm going to click add widget and we need to give it a name I'm going to copy the name from the code pen and let's just do let's click over here fork so we can copy the name and I'm gonna call it animated mouse scroll icon click tab and add widget great I've added it to my widget catalog I'm gonna double click to edit it and the next step is HTML CSS so I'm going to copy my HTML copy my CSS and paste it over here perfect and that's it <laughs> I mean we can uh, already see if it's working so let's go into pages add new 
edit with Elementor mouse I'm gonna drag that in perfect and it's working and as I said before that's not enough for me I mean I want this to be editable because now it doesn't have any settings so I'm just gonna click save over here and go back to my widget creator inside of attributes I'm gonna click add attribute and the first most obvious attribute I'm going to want to add is color picker and the color I'm just gonna call it color and give it a default value the default value will be black and I'm going to add that inside of the CSS wherever I changed it from white to red now I'm going to change it to a dynamic color which I can see on the right hand side over here this color field is the one we've created over here so I'm just gonna select that and replace the static color into a dynamic one and click update now if we go inside of Elementor and refresh and click to edit this we can see a color picker field and now if we change that this will change live in our uh, Elementor editor which is really really cool that's perfect next attribute I'm going to add is the alignment for that I'm going to use a drop down field so we're gonna call it alignment and I'm going to give it an option of center left and right perfect go inside of the HTML and change the inline CSS to my attribute that I've created of course it doesn't have to be inline CSS it can be a uh, regular CSS like we've shown before click update and refresh to check this new attribute and that's about it perfect so that was just a quick idea of what you can do with code pens and unlimited elements with Elementor, uh, which is really cool. You can create your own widgets. Another cool thing, and this is the reason why I think this is the best approach, is that you can export this widget and use it in further projects that you have or give it to someone or you, you can, maybe even you can sell it. I mean, so over here, if I click... Um, sorry over here if I click uh, right click and export what this does it downloads a zip file to my uh, computer which later on in a different website I can click import and I can drop that zip file inside of this box over here and it will add this widget that I've just created to that website so that's the idea behind of unlimited elements creating your own elements, your own widgets, exporting and importing them between your different projects. Of course, you can also edit any of our existing ones. So like over here, if I double click and I can see the HTML and CSS, any one of our widgets is open source and you can edit the HTML, CSS and add your own attributes and customize it exactly to your needs. I hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful and see you next time.